Capitec Bank's astounding success story started on the 1st of September 1998 with a small number of people launching a microfinance personal loan institution in the Louis Building at Techno Park outside Stellenbosch. In those early days, everything was uncertain. Even this new kid on the block's name. Various ones were used, such as FinAid and Key Matrix. Meanwhile, FinAid branches were mushrooming all over South Africa. In February 2000, there were 50. This doubled within five months, and by December 2000, there were a total of 300 branches. A public survey was done, on street and in the branches. People were given various options and asked which name they preferred. Capitec was chosen, a combination of capital and technology. The year 2001. In South Africa, a new way of banking is born. This year also marks the start of the most serious global economic slowdown in 20 years. And on September the 11th, the world comes to a standstill after a terrorist attack on the Twin Towers in New York. Meanwhile, Apple changes the way everyone plays music. It is also the year of the small bank crisis in South Africa. Breaking news at Capitec. In 2001, we obtained a banking license and our first ATM was installed. On the 1st of March 2001 at 8 a.m. sharp, Capitec Bank officially opened for business one hour earlier than the banks next door, immediately setting new trends in the way South Africans bank. The first banks operated branch was in Paro, Voortrekker. At the opening, thousands of balloons were let loose accompanied by a fanfare procession moving down Voortrekker Road. Soon, five new Capitec branches were opened in the Paro Belleville area. The Belleville Station branch was open from 6 in the morning till 6 at night, proving from the outset that Capitec Bank is about serving the client first. Our exceptional growth at that time necessitated us to move head office to bigger premises. Today we occupy three regional offices, five floors at the BSE building and the head office complex has just expanded to a fourth building. The year 2002 Billionaire entrepreneur Mark Shuttleworth becomes the first African in space and ex-cricket captain Hansi Kronier dies in a plane crash. Microsoft starts a game-playing phenomenon with the release of the Xbox and Brazil wins the FIFA World Cup soccer for a record fifth time, beating Germany 2-0 in the final. Breaking news at Capitec. On the 18th of February, Capitec was listed on the JSE and hailed as one of the only five true entrepreneurs. Capitec started trading at 2 Rand. It soon dropped to 85 cents before reaching the daily low of 65 cents before it started recovering. If you look at the number of shares issued at that stage, one would have been able to buy the entire bank for approximately 52 million Rand. Despite the banking crisis of the time, the new entity grew from strength to strength. The principles of accessibility, affordability and simplicity dictated branch design and layout. The result? Many smaller branches that are open for longer. The security issue was addressed with the decision not to keep money on the premises. Consulting areas were open and accessible, thus paving the way for our unique brand of personal service to be established. The affordability of our product was achieved by centralizing admin supported by BSC. Unlike other banks that have on average seven consultants helping the clients with an additional 20 people doing admin behind the scenes. The year 2003. South Africa announces its bid for the 2010 FIFA World Cup soccer tournament and the Hubble telescope detects the oldest known planet. Breaking news at Capitec. In 2003, we launched Global One, the first all-in-one facility, making banking more simplified and much easier for thousands of clients. Global One also introduces FocusSave, the first savings account in the world that clients can name themselves. The first step of the journey to make the client feel in control. Saswitch membership was granted to Capitec, giving us access to all ATMs worldwide. 
our sophisticated technology put us on par with the international payment system. At this time, our market share went past the 1 billion rand per year mark, ending the year on 1.4 billion rand. The year 2004. Tabu Mbeki starts his second term as president. Actress Charlize Theron wins an Oscar award, and wild child of local pop music Brenda Fassi dies. The internet site Facebook is launched, changing the way society communicates. Breaking news at Capitec. 2004 was the year we introduced the world's first biometric scanning in banking using fingerprint technology to reduce fraud and identity theft. An innovation that still distinguishes us from our opposition. Capitec had 75 ATMs. At the end of December 2010, we had 1,127 in-partnership ATMs and 468 of our own ATMs. We also had 7,427 point-of-sale terminals. During 2004, Capitec Bank became the dominant player in the micro-lending market with a market share of more than 40%, which represented 2.6 million loans. Kwakwa Satai was the first branch that achieved the million rand cap out. Not surprisingly, this was also the branch that first went through the 2 million rand cap out mark. During September, our share price went through the 10 rand barrier. The year 2005. President Mbeki dismisses his deputy Jacob Zuma and the local film Tsotsi wins an Oscar. The big cleanup starts in Indonesia after the devastating tsunami and YouTube goes online live, revolutionizing access to popular media. Breaking news at Capitec. 2005 was the year we gave our clients access to cash at Pick and Pay, ShopRite and Checker stores countrywide. During this year, the multi-loan was launched and 6 and 12 month loans were introduced while our number of branches grew to a total of 250. We had a respectable 74 million rand on deposit. The value of our bank increased to 1 billion rand with a share price of 20 rand on the 12th of September 2005. The year 2006 darkness falls upon South Africa after the maintenance team at Kuburg left a bolt in the nuclear reactor and singer, composer and musical director Talib Peterson is murdered by his wife. Further afield, scientists make headlines when they detect invisible dark matter for the first time. Breaking news at Capitec. We introduced an employer sales team to take banking to the market and initiated South Africa's first mobile banking with a salary transfer facility for employers. Capitec's advantage is its flexibility and innovative approach to banking. The idea of a mobile bank came up and the first one was built into the back of a car. Our Mobi Bank is now a common site at employer sales initiatives. Apart from this innovative idea, Capitec Bank also introduced 18 and 24 month loans during this time. By the end of 2006, we had 1 million clients, with a staff of 2,000 making their banking easy and simplified. Our profit was 116 million rand. Sales were 2.8 billion rand and our share price reached 35 rand during this year. The year 2007. South Africa defeats England 15-6 in the final to win the 2007 Rugby World Cup. At the Polokwane Conference, our country's governing party elects a completely new leadership, drastically changing the local political scene and legendary reggae musician Lucky Dube is murdered. Toyota sensitizes the world to alternative transport through its first plug-in hybrid vehicle. Breaking news at Capitec. In 2007, we issued 10 million ordinary shares to our BEE partners, increasing the overall BEE shareholding to 16.04%. In February 2007, the first advertising campaign for Capitec was launched. We also introduced 36-month term loans to the amount of 50,000 Rand. And by November 2007, we had 1.5 million clients. The year 2008. 
In September, the ANC recalls President Thabo Mbeki. Our country's singing ambassador, Miriam Makeba, dies after a concert in Italy. On the 5th of November, Barack Obama becomes the 44th President of the United States of America. This was also the year the opposition started seeing us as serious competition. APSA opened loan centers and African Bank introduced their credit card as access to short-term credit. Breaking news at Capitec. We introduced the first open platform fixed-term savings plan with the highest interest available. In March 2008, we offered clients secure internet banking. The year 2010. South Africa stages the first ever Soccer World Cup on the African continent and the Vuvuzela becomes a worldwide phenomenon. Bafana Bafana Sempiwi Chabalala scores the opening goal of the tournament and Spain wins the World Cup by defeating the Netherlands 1-0. The government injected 33 billion rand into preparations for the World Cup. We had more than 309,000 tourists spending around 3.9 billion rand in the country during the World Cup. The first part of the Gauteng system between OR Tambo and Santon opened in June. The train will travel up to 160 kilometers per hour. The projected cost? 20 billion rand. Dr. Friedrich von Sell Slubert, well-known politician, political analyst and businessman, passes away. Consumer debt is at an all-time high. It is estimated that South Africans owe a staggering 1.14 trillion rand. Breaking news at Capitec. At the end of 2010, we had 450 fully functional branches. Another 55 is planned for the 2011-2012 financial year. The 107th Firm Foundations was completed in December resulting in 5,975 people having completed the course. Our share price ended the year on 171 Rand and the total capital raised by rights issue for the year was 1 billion Rand. On the 8th of February 2011, our market cap was 16.1 billion Rand, the 58th largest on the JSE. Sales went through the 14 billion Rand mark with the launch of the 60-month product and the dual matrix. Our fee income as a percentage of our operating expenses increased from 21% to 30% and the total number of clients 2.8 million. Capitec Bank is the only African brand to be recognized by Credit Suisse as one of the great brands of tomorrow. This includes brands like Apple, Amazon and Facebook. A coincidence? We don't think so. We were also awarded the top 100 company as adjudicated by the Sunday Times for being the leading growth company on the JSE Securities Exchange SA in the five years to September 2010. It must be noted that most of the opposition banks are older than 100 years. They have had 100 years to establish themselves in the mind of the consumer. 100 years to claim their portion of the market share. Think back on what we've achieved in just 10 years. Now imagine what we can achieve in a hundred years. We are on the journey to become the best bank in the world. Capitec Bank, the future is here.